Joining us is former Auburn head football coach and U.S. Senate candidate Tommy Tuberville. Coach, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Over the weekend, your opponent, Jeff Sessions, made some pretty heated remarks toward President Trump via Twitter. What's your reaction to that? Well, I'm sure he thought knew it was coming. Uh, you know, when you do that to the President of the United States, pretty much quit on him and stabbed him in the back. And, and uh, he turned loose two, 200 liberal lawyers on him for three years. I think anybody would be a little bit mad at somebody that did that to him. But, uh, uh, you know, President Trump's been on my team now for about three months. And, uh, you know, we've got a pretty good lead. And I think that's kind of getting to my opponent a little bit. You know, Sessions has challenged you to several debates around Alabama. What are your thoughts on that challenge? Well, he hadn't debated anybody since 2002, and uh, he's turned down debates himself. You, you, uh, I tell people, I've been doing this for 16 months, going around all over the state, shaking hands and telling people why I'm doing this, what I'm going to do when I get to Washington, D.C., how I'm going to help the people of Alabama. And so I've been doing it hand to hand I'm, and uh, I haven't seen him. He hasn't been out I'm, and, and uh, you know, I'm not going to go on TV and let him get up there and uh, and try to get an advantage when he hadn't been out there doing the legwork I've been doing. So it, it's no reason to do it. Uh, again, it's uh, we've got a, a good double digit lead. I got a new quarterback on my team is President Trump, who's who's uh, who's helping me campaign. And so it's going well. So we'll let him run his race and we'll run ours. Let me ask you this, Coach. Do you think you would be open to participating in a debate, maybe here on WDHN at some point in the future? Nah, what, what, not in this race we would. Maybe in the future, but not in this race. This race is only, I think we're 48 days away. And it's, uh, it's one of those situations where, hey, we got a lead. We're going to keep running the football. And uh, we're going to go out and keep telling people how we're going to do it, what, why we're going to do it, and uh, keep building strength, keep building our votes. And so I think that's the best way for us to go out and get the job done and win. Is there anything you want the public to know as this race tends to wind down at this point? Well, one of the reasons I'm running is this country's in trouble. Uh, we've got a lot of problems. We've let these career politicians, like the guy I'm running against, and and uh, Washington, D.C. run this country in the ground. And look at the problems we got right now. $25 trillion in debt, our health care system's broken, immigration system's a disaster. We just now found out that China is, uh, it owns almost everything that we, we, we buy. And uh, we've been in wars for 20 years. And that's because of the people like I'm running against. We, we don't get anything done in Washington, D.C. And I'm not a swamp guy, I'm an outsider. I'm not taking the salary. My salary is going to the veterans of the state of Alabama. We're going to win this race and we're going to win it because I'm going to represent the people of Alabama and support Donald Trump. And it's going to be a lot of fun getting it done, but we got a lot of work. To do. All right. Former Auburn head football coach and U.S. Senate candidate Tommy Tuberville. Thank you for speaking with us, coach. Thank you, Paige.